Alrighty then, it's time for a jungle time game. It's about time I had one for him. It's also, which one? About time I had one for Rek'Sai, but we'll get to that one when we actually get to it. So, uh, anyways, the reason why there's not a lot of Rek'Sai games or Tom games or even a Kindred game is because I don't feel comfortable forcing these champions onto my teammates in ranked unless I've practiced them in normal with friends. Unfortunately, my friends have been very busy for this whole past month and I haven't had a chance to play them very much. So, I haven't had practice with Tom. This is actually my second game with Tom ever, and I only re the only reason I played him is because my the fans when I was streaming kept wanting. Do you want to gonna play Tom? I'm gonna play Tom. I you know said fuck it, I'll play Tom this game. So if you see any weird things with Tom is usually just due to an experience. And I figured you know it wouldn't be too bad since he's a tanky champion and he's more utility based. So even if I get destroyed, I I won't have the worst time ever. Sadly, I'm fighting Jungle Shaco and I was totally afraid of him. Fortunately for me, he played like a sa ham sandwich. Now, my runes and masteries are 2190 masteries. And my runes are attack speed red, armor yellow, magic resistance blues, and movement speed quince. I knew Shiko was going to gank bottom because of the way he moved from my chickens down towards bottom. So I knew he'd be there. I decided just to fight him because I figured in a 3v3 fight we'd have the advantage. Just seeing, seeing as he doesn't have a flash so and he's burned his, a blink. Lucian gets so much free damage on the Alistair because they're over committing through a minion line and he basically downs him. I keep Jinx distracted while Lucian can stun the Shaco as well, so this is two kills for the Lucian so far as well as first blood. We chase after the Jinx and we're gonna actually tower dive here and it's gonna go really poorly. I use my abilities in a, in a really bad order so we couldn't chunk her down for or stun her. So both me and Lucian had to dive and we died for that. Fortunately, Lucian had all three kills, so he's got a BF sword already at five minutes into the game, so it's it's totally worth it. Also, I haven't even gotten my blue yet, so I'm still kind of uh, more, I have more momentum than Shaco, which is a really bad spot for him to be in. He's still only level three while I'm level four. Lulu was forced back by Renekton, which means the minion wave has a tower. So I'm able to sneak in these bushes and just wait for Lulu to naturally push the lane, and I'll be able to ambush her from here. Also, the Renekton is basically just stomping her, so this gank is really easy to pull off. Which is pretty much a bash her brains in. I eat her and then I kind of try to shoot her back, and I don't make a lot of distance with it. But still, it's a very easy gank on Lulu, and it's mostly because her lane was pushed out, and I knew she would, wouldn't have it warded, because who would ward in that location? So, one cool thing about Jungle Town that I like is how he's really good at taking out Scuttlecrab. Just devour and then beat it to death, and it's... It just goes down real quickly. As far as Jungle Tam goes, I still think he has a lot of flaws. Actually, wait, let me point this out. You see, the chickens had barely died and they were barely resetting. That means Shaco is coming down bottom again. So I'm running there as quickly as I can. And I didn't expect Azir to be there. So, But I pop my ultimate, jump in there. And fortunately for me, the Shaco and Azir dive in the most stupid of ways. And they get destroyed. I eat Lucian. And then I sh try to shoot him closer to the enemy. The Sona picks up the kill on the Shaco instead of the Lucian. So it's, it's still just okay. We gun down the Alistair. Though I'm going to start tanking the tower. Hoping for another kill. Xerath comes in. Blows up the the beefcake. And then I tank the tower longer. Just so them can get some free shots. Turns out I didn't really need to do this. Because Xerath was able to snipe him. And the Lucian just decided to back away. But you know it's it's still worth it. We're just feeding the carries a little bit more. Me as Tom. It doesn't matter if I go 0 and 9 and 0. I'll still be able to contribute somewhat. If my abilities are still usable. That's, that's the strength of utility champions. As a jungler, I still think he's a little too slow and that he himself can't carry. So that might be kind of bad. But he he's more, well, like I said, he to other junglers, he's one of those junglers that carries by proxy. He's got the utility to completely shut down certain champions. The enemy has a Vi, well your W just completely says a fuck you to her ultimate. The enemy has some real big uh, assassin, just eat them and nullify their engage. He's that kind of big fuck you kind of champion, and he works as an utter shutdown for those types of champions. Anyways, for whatever reason, the Shaco, a level 5 Shaco, tries to fight us. He blinks towards me and, and the Renekton, and it just gets absolutely destroyed. Zeth comes in and helps us catch the Lulu, and it's pretty much, you know, chasing her down. I eat the Renekton to shoot him closer and get us more mobility. It doesn't matter, though. She's, she would have died regardless, but still, it's a little bit flashier. And as you can see, this game is kind of just... A domination of the enemy team. Fans requested it, and it's a time game, so you might as well upload one for uh, to finally have one. If my 
I, I did rank him as a cheese champion, mostly because I just feel he doesn't really win in a, in a fair way. It's like, again, he's just an utter shutdown. It's like, against most team compositions, I feel he's just going to sort of be there and you kind of would have wanted any different, any other champion. But against other matchups, ones with heavy assassins or vise or whatever, it's just completely stupid and lopsided. Uh, like, his early game ganking prowess is really strong, I actually have to admit. His, though his ultimate, I think, is very, very overrated and not really totally useful. Uh, usable in many situations but i was surprised at how much damage this guy can do and just how much control he has over a target but it, it does feel like i can't do anything by myself i need a homie to help me out and it got help you if you get counter ganked because you really kind of just can't do anything if i i would change my i would change my cheese rank to something else if i were to give him a rank now a legitimate one I would probably give him a B rank because again it's just so disgusting how, how I, I've picked Vi against a, a Tom uh, either in blind pick and also in rank mode before but the Tom picked against me and countered me I could not tell you how salty I was whenever I wanted to do anything he just eats my target and I just kind of get you know shut down I've played uh, Lee Sin in normal. I, I don't trust myself to play in Lee Sin in ranked anymore. And Jesus Christ, I Q a target. He just eats the target and I Q'd myself to death. It's just so dumb. But it's it's fair, I guess, right? Because if you get counterpicked that way, then, well, you just gotta try to play around it. But it's not, it's, it's a fair, Tom is one of those fair supports, again. And I've said before that fair champions, you can't really bag on them too much. So again, as far as this jungle goes, I think it's all right. It's not something I think people do overrate the shit out of it, saying it's uh, like ungloriously un unbalanced or some other nonsense. I, I think just against certain matchups, it's really good. But against others, against like a lot of general kind of builds, uh, it's just kind of mediocre or average. Uh, in against this composition. Uh, Tom worked out only because I was able to feed the living shit out of my teammates and the enemy team allowed themselves to die and did a lot of crazy things. So I think almost anybody, any champion I would have picked would have gotten away with this. So I can't really say Tom, well I played Tom to his greatest strength. I mean look at this, Lucian is 9 fucking kills by 16 minutes. Like, he's unstoppable at this point, an Infinity Edge, a second BF Sword. Like, now he's got boots, too, so he'll be even deadlier. This game has been done for quite a while, and it, by the way, here I fuck up my smite so much. I smite where there's like 85 or 87 health left, so Shaco's able to get it before he gets dropped. Ah, that's unfortunate. So, yeah, just the only credit I would give Tom in, in this one is that, Jesus shit, yes, again, I've, I've said before, he's really hard to fucking kill. I can do a lot of dumb plays just because I know... My health pool is so massive and my E regeneration is so dumb that I'll survive most of my stupid stunts. Like here, I just have to waddle away and I'll heal back up to nearly a half of my health. Sonos heals will eventually bring me up as well. So Tom is just really stupid to kill or try to kill. Now, anyways, I, I, I would recommend playing him to people who are at least looking for more utility. I wouldn't recommend you sort of play him unless you're playing him in a dual queue because as I said, he wins via proxy. And uh, he himself doesn't do care half caring, he sets shit up. He's like a Nautilus, he's like a, uh, a Zack and stuff. You can make the plays, you can make all this cool stuff happen, but if your teammates don't follow that up, then it's not gonna be as good. Like, I'm very lucky that in this game I had teammates who were fucking on the ball for a lot of things. Hell, this Sona is fucking Jesus mode throughout the whole fucking game. I wouldn't be surprised if this person was on, like, a, on a fucking crack or something. Sure, he dies a few times and it's gonna screw up, uh, screw up an initiation at some point. But damn, she fucking probably is what carried bottom lane for a little while. And also Lucian getting so massively huge was a good deal. Other than that, yes, uh, another good thing for Tom is that he's fucking easy to play. I was surprised. I was a little worried that I'd fuck up a lot of things, though I did fuck up a few things here and there, like his uh, Q into the W combo. 
I fucked that up. But otherwise, he's insanely easy and insanely forgiving. So if you've got the IP to spare and you want to try it out, it's like it won't take you that long to learn. You know, it, it won't also take you that long to understand, you know, your potentials in ganking or whatever. I actually really like how like uh, simplistic is ganking is. I mean, if you get caught out, you'll probably uh, die. Well, you might die slowly enough that your teammates will rescue your ass. But like. His tongue lash is probably one of the best. Well, one of the best of the average uh, C non non hurt CC abilities. What I mean by that is like it's such a easy, easy old ability to sort of rely on. So it just goes in a straight line. You can see the projectile. You can sort of gauge it rather easily. And it's cooldown is low enough so you can keep tagging a person with it. Like blah, 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 blah. And like, it, I don't know. It's just if you watch this game, watch one of the early ganks, rewind it, and just watch how easy the tongue lash is to use. It, like, it, it, again, its projectile speed is not the greatest. It's still skill shots that you're bound to miss, and it hits the first thing in its way. So it, it has definite weaknesses. But its usability is so fluid and so simple. So it's a very. I would say Tom is probably one of the newer best junglers to try learning as a new jungler it's just uh he's got a lot of usage he's got a lot of uh things to watch out for and he's got a lot of forgiveness in his ability so yeah i i've been impressed playing jungle tom I, i'm still not convinced that he's this overpowered god jungler that some people are are rating him or or whatever I, I think he's rather fair, uh, and I guess certain matchups he's gross for sure, but eh. by the way, here's what I mean. Like, I build Warmogs just to be a gigantic dick. Like, here, I just ran, walked up to them, took oh, more than half my health and damage, but all I gotta do is sit in the back, jerk off a little bit, and my health just comes back to near full. It's ridiculous. His E is one of the dumbest abilities they've ever given a champion in the in-game. It just makes punishing him so difficult. Of course, since I haven't built armor, the enemy Jinx can tear me to pieces. So if I get CC'd or get caught or anything, you can see her tear me to shreds. Unfortunately, I think I screwed that up and I didn't fire Alistair the right direction. So I got my Sona teammate killed. So we trade Azir for Sona, which is, I guess, an okay trade. But after this, we're going to start tower diving because, again, my fat ass can block things and my teammates are just so monstrously fed. I didn't commentate too much on this video because we got really fed early. We dominated. We fed the right. I got the right people fed and I pulled off some tr uh, sneaky little ganks. But after a little while, it was very obvious that I kind of just didn't do as much. Like past the mid game, time sort of devolves into this carry protector and kind of nothing else his ultimate isn't that useful anymore like it can set up some plays or help you travel to places but it's just kind of a win more situation in those in in that aspect his e you'll be usable at times but most of the times you just use it for shield because if you lose a team fight you'll die anyways and his devour is of course his playmaking skill and his q again mostly through the end of the game you just kind of this Q bot and this W bot that just kind of eats your homies and uh, makes sure they're safe. So I would say he's probably. Uh, I would probably say he's on t on on top or on equal grounds as Oliver in terms of being the best bodyguard in the game now. I w it's debatable because while ball because while Tom can relocate the carry and just completely erase them from the game for a little while. Baldur actually has control and can, you know, displace enemy. So it's debatable. If you got an idea as to who you say is the better bodyguard, uh, write in the comments. As of now, I think they're about equal, but I may say that Tom has finally replaced Baldur as the best jungle bodyguard. Either way, hooray for jungle Tom Kench. I am thoroughly impressed.